this video, I'm going to talk about how to present data effectively. You can do some really fancy things with data visualization, but sometimes just creating some simple versions of your data can work just as well. If you've watched our video about putting together excellent presentations, you'll know that a lot of the success of a good presentation hinges on how well you can communicate your ideas visually. So much of the information that people receive into their brains is visual. So by maximizing that and minimizing anything too text heavy or overloading people's cognitive processes with simply too much information is a good thing. Making things look pretty is not a waste of time and will be a good investment of your time in the long run. So let's start with the basics. You have some data and you want to present it. Is presenting it using a graph the best way to do this? If not, use something else. If so, you might choose a pie chart because they're big and bold, right? While pie charts are useful for at a glance understanding of really simple information, they can also be quite misleading as they require an audience to judge area, which we're actually quite bad at, generally speaking, especially if your pie chart has lots of individual wedges. Bar charts can give more scale and are easier to work out what is actually being represented. Speaking of scale, if you are presenting data using something like Excel for your graphs, make sure your axes make sense, or don't. Some graphs can actually become too cluttered with excess labeling, and keeping things clean and simple can be just as impactful. Remember, people are probably going to be watching your presentation from some degree of distance. They're not reading your report or paper close up, and they certainly don't have time or even the inclination to digest a data-heavy slide with you also talking at them. It's just too much to take in. Keep it simple and as obvious as possible for someone to get a feel for what you're talking about in a few seconds. The key to good data presentation is to reduce the need for your audience to have to interpret what you're showing them. Your data should be clear and straightforward, so take some time to highlight key points for your audience, either through your words or through things like your color choices for your bar charts. Instead of having all of your bars colored in, Try changing the less relevant ones to a grey tone and have the bar result that you're actually talking about in a good, bold colour so it stands out, like this. The same can apply to how you use accompanying text. If there are key statistics or findings, make the text appear in a different colour, but one that is still easy to read, so that it stands out, like this. Make sure you use complementary and consistent colours throughout your presentation to create a theme so people know what to look out for, and also don't get overwhelmed with the entire colour spectrum in the space of two or three slides. To mix things up a bit, try your data out with different chart types. While a bar chart or a pie chart might not work for your specific situation, a stacked chart might be the perfect thing. Just make sure you can justify why you chose the chart you did, and maybe even get a friend or a colleague to look at your data to check if they can understand what you're trying to communicate easily. Of course, there are a multitude of exciting and different ways to present and visualise your data that doesn't involve a humble bar chart. Infographics are super ways of presenting data quickly and imaginatively, and there are lots of cool tools out there to explore. Canva is a free design tool that lets you create posters, presentations, and more importantly, infographics. They even have templates to help you get started. Easily is another free tool that specialises in infographics and gives you tons of templates to help build what you need. Pictochart is yet another nifty tool for infographic creation, but also dabbles in other design work like Canva does. Finally, if you want to get really creative and a bit techy, Google Charts allows you to create interactive graphs. Now, while this might not work well for a presentation, it could be an alternative way of presenting your data on something like a website. You will need some coding knowledge of JavaScript, but you can also take advantage of the extensive chart library, which has lots of pre-written code already done for you. A lot of my research this year came from Stephanie Evergreen's Presenting Data Effectively book, which I highly recommend. Check out some of the tools that I've mentioned and have fun presenting your data. Until next time, bye.